Welcome to another product presentation from TIS. Today we're going to do a video uh, using the TIS EV Test 100 in a manual mode using the TIS MFT Pro. And this video will also be good for you, for those of you out there that have got your own multifunction tester with a six milliamp capabilities and you just want to use our TIS EV Test 100 with your multifunction tester. So the first test that we're going to do is a continuity test. So everything is dead. Uh, my leads are in the correct uh, position and obviously my dials are in the right position. So we're going to go ahead and do a continuity test. The test is good. And now we're going to move on to a manual insulation test. Now into the insulation setting. As you can see, it's all set up at 500 volts. I've changed my leads round, put my dials in the correct position so we now can perform a manual insulation test. Press go. And as you can see, we get the LPE and the MPE reading all together. So the LPE reading is good, greater than 999. And the MPE reading the same and delivered 516 volts. So the insulation test is a good. So that's the insulation test. We're now going to move on to putting a fault on the circuit. We're now going to put some faults on the circuit to make sure that the uh, EVSC charging station uh, recognises a fault. So all we need to do here is move my dial to B. And all that doing is making sure that the lead is locked so the, the, the charging station is ready to charge but the car is, not, car is not calling for a charge. Then if we move it into the C so it's fully live and the car is asking for a charge we can hear the actual uh, contactor kick in there. And you can see on the L1 button that also it's delivering a voltage. So when we go down to the status button at the bottom of the EV test 100, if we move that to perform an earth fault which is not available on some EV adapters out there, we should lose the L1 light and hear the actual EVSE charging station clunk out. And there we go, we've lost the L1 light, we heard the charging station clunk out, so the earth fault has cut the power and there's no charge going to the car. We can also perform an electrical fault with the EV Test 100, and as you can see when I've switched it to an electrical fault, the L1 light has still not returned and the contactor has not clonked on uh, the EVSE charging station. So we've performed an earth fault there and an electrical fault with the EVSE charging station. Next test, we're going to move on to a loop impedance test. We're now going to perform a live test. So on my CP state there, it's currently at A. So I need to move that to C so the contactor clicks in. I've got my PP state to 20 amps and I've got my status set to OK. So my EV adapter is ready to do a loop impedance test. On your multifunction, into loop impedance, we can see there that it's delivering a voltage on the actual screen and we can press go and now it's going to perform a loop impedance test without tripping the RCD. And as you can see, we get PFC, light to neutral, LPE and PFC all on one screen with using the MFT Pro. There we go, the results come in, the result is good, and that is a, a loop impedance test on an EVSE charging station. Next test was on to the RCD test. Now to perform your RCD test, make sure it's set up correctly. As you can see, that's ready to do an AC test, and we want to do a type A. So I'm going to change that to a type A at 30 milliamp. Tick the box so it's ready to do a 30 milliamp type A RCD test. Ramp test is done, it's gone out at 7.5 milliamps at 81 milliseconds, so the test is good. What I need to do now is reset the pod RCD. Which is done, and now we're going to perform a 6 milliamp test. So go back in. Change your multifunction tester to a 6 milliamp DC. Tick the box so we can do a 6 milliamp DC RCD test. 
that's gone out at 2.4 milliamps at 43 milliseconds so the RCD test is good so that's the end of the manual test using the EV test 100 what you can also buy from TIS is our TIS 1908 is a duplicate pad to record all your test results on continuity, insulation, your fault status, your loop impedance and your RCD. You can leave the customer a test certificate sheet and obviously you can keep a duplicate copy for yourself. So that's the TIS 1908. Thanks for watching today's video on the MFT Pro using the ETIS EV Test 100. Thank you.